You've got the little icing moustache. It's moist as well. Yay, moist. Mm. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another episode of The Traveling Hobbit. My name is Neil. If you're new here, please press the subscribe button below. Just right there. Like, comment, and share, and I'll comment something back. And if you're new here, welcome back to my channel. Woohoo! So today's episode, I am not going to be traveling anywhere else apart from staying here at my house. Hi guys, today we're going to be making rainbow cupcakes. Yep, rainbow! Rainbow! <laughs> so that's the reason why we're, I am wearing a unicorn with a rainbow tail over here. And even Bishop's got a rainbow unicorn, football. unicorn, unicorn themed t-shirt right there. So, yeah, so we're just going to be making rainbow cupcakes. So let's go to the kitchen. Come on, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome to our kitchen. So we're just going to start off baking this uh, rainbow cupcakes. So I'm just going to be running through all the ingredients with you guys, okay? So you're going to see the ingredients either at the bottom right here or maybe here somewhere if there's a space, okay? So uh, let's start off. So Bishop is going to be assisting with, well, he's going to be baking the, the cupcakes and I'm assisting. <laughs> so. Uh, the ingredients are 110 grams of the self-raising flour. So that's the flour we got there. 110 grams of uh, sugar. And then we have 110 grams of butter. That's right there. And then we have one teaspoon of baking powder. And then we have two large free-range eggs. Free grams. And then we have one teaspoon of uh, pure vanilla extract as well. Okay. And we have icing topping, which is the rainbow colored sort of, what do you call them? They're sprinkles for the tops of cake. How about, yeah, let's put it on the camera just like that. Sprinkles. That's the one. There you go. Sprinkly rainbow color bits. So because it's a rainbow cupcake, so it needs to be rainbowy, if that's a word. <laughs> Yep. So yeah, so we're just going to start off with, with baking. So this is a non-mucking around cupcake guys, okay? There you go. So let's start off with it. So first of all, we have to put the flour. And then the sugar. And then the, the butter. Which always sticks. There you go. You need to be... You can't see it from there. Sorry guys. Sorry. Yep. Egg. You can talk as well if you want to. And baking powder. And vanilla extract. And we're going to save the sprinkles till last. It's going to get noisy, guys. So after that, after we all blended everything together, what are we going to do? We're going to put the sprinkles in now. Yeah. Yay! Uh, the rainbow. Pretty rainbow. And just blend that in, make sure they're all around. <clears throat> and then they should, fingers crossed, stain the batter when it cooks. So they won't look like sprinkles, they'll just look like colour inside the spongy cake mix. Mm, okay. Someone's not convinced. <laughs> I'm not convinced yet. <laughs> I need to, to see this in person later on. <laughs> so that looks good to me. It's all nicely through. Try and keep lots of air in there so it rises up. Okay, cool. Righty. So after that, we're just going to be putting them in individual cupcake cases. Cases, yeah. Cupcake cases. It's too colorful. It's all oh colorful. It's pretty. It looks like rainbows. It's a rainbow. It tastes the rainbow. It looks like rainbows, guys. <laughs> right, so we're just going to be putting it individually in the cupcake cases though, okay? Hi guys. 
Now we are uh, ready to put this in the oven. The oven needs to be preheated about um, 325 degrees Fahrenheit or gas uh, mark 3 and also 160 degrees Celsius as well. And um, we're just going to be putting this in the oven for about 20 minutes up until we see that it's golden brown already, okay? So I'm just going to put it in the oven now. It's preheated, so it's good. Yeah, middle shelf. Middle shelf. Yeah. That's the one. And we wait for 20 minutes. See you later. Hi guys, so 20 minutes is over. So we're just going to be removing our cupcakes outside the oven, okay? So let's see if it works, okay? I'm hoping it's going to be all right. Okay, well, it's hot. And then, uh, it is hot. Okay, Ooh, look at that. Cool. Ah, nice. And how do we know they're cooked? Um, they look like they're golden brown anyway. And? So, we could put a toothpick inside. Or the other way, you just gently squash them, and if they spring back nicely, yeah, they're cooked. Yeah, they, they spring back nicely anyway. Hey, in that so case, should, they're cooked. Yeah, they're cooked. So, what we're going to do now is the icing. Now we're going to let them cool for at least a good hour. Cool them for another <laughs> hour. Okay. And then we'll do the icing. We'll do the icing after, okay? I'll yeah. see you later, guys. Okay. Hi, guys. So one hour has just passed. So we put the cupcakes into a wrap over here now. So it's all nice and cool. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing now is the icing. So we cheated, actually. <laughs> we're using Betty, Betty Crocker. Crocker. Buttercream icing, as God, you can see. Gotta love Betty. Yeah. So we love Betty. So we're using his pro her product. So yeah. yeah. So what happened to the to the icing is we colored it. It's food coloring. So we have different kinds of colors here: yellow, green, pink, and blue. Yep. There you go. Oh yeah. So we're gonna make spiral cupcakes, uh, spiral icing cupcakes. So it's a really good trick, rather than trying to. Um, spoon all your mixture into a piping bag which will get really messy is to lay it out onto a sheet of cling film or saran wrap depending where you're from okay you're recording mm -hmm. okay so what I'm doing is just putting blocks of color onto a sheet of cling film and it just means that you get nice um, clear blocks and clear stripes when it comes out when you pipe and it just it seems like a lot of work, but it's actually worth it in the end. What we want to do is maybe stick this in the fridge for about half an hour after you've uh, made it, just so it gets nice and solid again. But you don't have to, as we're only piping um, onto the top of the cake. Look at that, it's rainbows. And it's, I know it's not the real rainbow colours, because but, but it's still rainbows. But it should be at one end, and there's only four colours. But. It could be unicorn. Hey, it's unicorn. Okay, and we, we, have, also, we have unicorn. We're also going to use those as well, just to be sugar. Particularly, uh, <laughs> really pretty. Look. Particularly uh, sweet. Doesn't want to focus. Uh, back a bit. Okay, that Luke. So you got on your sheet of cling film, and then you just make a a nice sausage out of the whole lot. Nice sausage, and then the fun bit. Okay. So as you can see, you've got lovely clear stripes. So then the idea is, cut the end off. Sorry, I'm always so noisy. If I'm not mixing, I'm rustling. And then pick up your icing, cut end into the open the end of the bag and then with any luck we should have a cupcake we should have a nice stripy iced Ooh, look at that. cupcake oh my god it works 
Hi guys, so we're all done with um, our baking our um, rainbow cupcakes. So as you can see, it's all colorful. It's so pretty. It's pretty pretty. So we're just going to test one here. And let's see if it's tasty or not. I'm sure it is tasty. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But yeah, it is nice. Oh, mm. that's a big bite. That's nice. <laughs> You've got the little icing moustache. It's moist as well! Yay! Moist! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a moustache to rival mine now. Mmm! It's um... It's moist. Moist? At the same time it's creamy. For those who don't understand mouthfuls, that's moist and creamy. So moist and creamy and it's really nice. It's not too sweet, so which is good. And yeah, it's really good. So... I think that's for today's episode guys. Make sure you press the subscribe button below. Like, comment and share. And I'll comment something back. And just remember guys, create happy memories and always keep smiling. See you later. Bye. Bye guys.